Hello YouTube, and today I have a mono bug versus mono water battle for you guys. I have narrated this battle so many times, and every time I narrate it, so there's something wrong with it. And um, this is a really, really good battle. Anyway, Heracross is so OP, you can really see the power that is behind bug types in this video. Um, I really, really like this battle. He's got a really nice, solid team. I like the Frogadier as well, as well as a couple of OUs to balance out. But um, it's a really good battle, a solid team, and uh, I really enjoy playing it. Um, my team could do with some fixing. I want a Durant in there instead of the Crustle, perhaps, and something else instead of Parasect. Um, I kind of want to keep Crustle as maybe a cut up lead if cut up Berry is even legal in Aorus, and then have a Durant as well. Um, but I also could do with putting a Volcarona in here because I haven't got a Volcarona in this team either. But um, it's quite fortunate that I didn't have it in this team because it would have got absolutely nailed and destroyed because of all these water types. So it's quite fortunate that I didn't actually bring it. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle anyway and I'll just get straight on into it. But a massive thank you to you guys that have all subscribed to me. I've gained like a whopping 207 subscribers in the past few weeks. And I apologise so much for being inactive for ages but I am definitely going to be more active again. And I have so many battles that I need to edit and stuff and then I'm going to start doing the live team builds and the live, both live multi battles at this game and um, live like Wi-Fi battles and stuff. So anyway, without further ado, let's narrate this stuff. Um, he's going to lead out with Tentacruel and instantly swap out into his Quagsire as I lead out with my Mega Beedrill and go for the Mega and uh, the Mega Protect as well. It's going to fail because he swapped out. I'm going to go for the U-turn which is going to do a huge amount of damage to um, Quagsire. Again, anything that doesn't resist bug usually takes a lot of damage from an adaptability U-turn from Mega Beedrill. I'm going to swap into my Venomoth and um, he's going to go for a Yawn which is really annoying for me because I have Wonder Skin so that was 50% less likely to land and he still somehow managed to land it. Uh, Quagsire is going to get some lefties recovery as I swap out because I do not want to go to sleep and I'm going to bring in my Heracross that is Triscar Heracross with Moxie and um, I'm going to go for what I think is a Earthquake. So he's going to swap out and bring in his Azumarill which is a good play on him because Azumarill is quite bulky and um, he's going to take that Earthquake really really well there and uh, retaliate back with a Waterfall which doesn't take me out, which is I'm quite surprised by. It must be Sap Flipper instead of Huge Power, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's kind of the assumption I'm going to make on that one. Um, and I'm going to swap out there and bring in my Shed Ninja on this waterfall. So I just get the free swap, I can save my hair across for later, which turned out to be an amazing good idea and um, worked out really well, so that was a good swap. He's going to swap out, showing me maybe he doesn't have knockoff or he just predicted the Will O Wisp and didn't want to take a Will O, especially if he's not a huge power, his attack would be awful. So he's going to swap into Quagsire and take that Wisp, which is fine by me because residual damage on something that's too bulky with recover and leftovers is very, very helpful and um, it's going to negate that lefty's recovery anyway, so that's going to be one thing that's useful. I'm going to go for next scissor here. Didn't see a point in going for Sword Stance because obviously, as you can see here, I'm just going to get yawned anyway, so um, it would have been a wasted turn. He's going to get some lefty's recovery, but it's going to get negated by the burn, so I'm not too bothered about that, and um, he's going to be pretty much in yellows. He's going to go for a recover on my swap though as I swap out and um, I swap into my Venomoth again. This time I was just thinking of starting to attack. I do have Giga Drain on this thing, which, prefer, which is obviously four times super effective on Quagsire and um, two times on pretty much everything else in his team, except for the Tentacore. So he's gonna go for the recovery on the swap, like I said, and get some lefties recovery, but then it's gonna kinda get taken away by that burn damage, as you see there. And he is gonna swap out, making the crazy predictions of the Giga Drain and going into his Tentacore to not only resist, but he's also running the Liquid Ooze ability, which is going to damage me for all the HP that I would have gained from Giga Draining him. <clears throat> so the Liquid Ooze is going to go off, do a little bit of damage to me, but that's fine by me, because I've got Black Sludge, it's just going to negate it anyway. And um, I'm actually running Hidden Power Ground on this Venomoth, so I'm able to just go some Quiver Dances, no fear really, this thing can't touch me, and as long as it doesn't crit me or anything, I should be okay and good to go. So um, I've got one Quiver Dance up and he's going to go for a Scold and just because RNG hates me I'm going to get blown straight to a Scold which uh, kind of really really is unfortunate but I do have my lefties, well my Black Sludge which is going to kind of negate the residual damage that I take from Burn so that's okay. Um, <clears throat> he's got his Black Sludge recovery as well and um, he's going to swap out there. <clears throat> Sorry it's a stuck in my throat. He's going to swap out and go into his 
um, Gyarados. Gyarados is going to drop the Intimidate on me, which is fine because I have a special attack and I'm physical, and I'm going to go for a Quiver Dance on the, on the swap into the Gyarados. Um, I could have swapped out to keep this thing, but there's no point really. I may as well just get as much damage off as I can on it, as I am at plus two special attack, special dance, and speed, I think. So I'm going to go for a Giga Drain because it's the only move I have that can either land on it and isn't resistant. Um, times like these, I wish I had Sludge Bomb, but then I need Hidden Power Grind at the same time. So he's going to go for an Aqua Tail, and it's easily going to take me out, no questions asked. And that is one dead moth thoroughly swatted by that Gyarados. Uh, its tail even looks like kind of like a fly swap, the way it flaps it up and down. So I'm going to bring in my Truscuff Heracross to Revenge Kill with that um, wonderful Stone Edge that actually connects. I'm so happy it landed because usually in my luck it would have missed and then the game would have been over and I just got swept by Aqua Tail. That has happened to me before, so <laughs> I wouldn't want it to happen again. He's going to bring in Quagsire. I'm just going to swap out. I know I've got the Moxie boost, but I don't want to risk missing any more Stone Edges. Like I said, my luck is terrible, so I'm going to swap right on into my Shed Ninja, and he's just going to yawn anyway, so um, I'm just going to have to swap back out again. It's a lot of swapping in this battle. This kind of reminds me of that yawn infestation battle that I had. I'll put the link on the... Because um, YouTube has these new title card things. I'll be able to test them. I'll put the link on a little information thing in, in the video somewhere. Um, so I'm going to swap out there and bring in Parasect. Uncle Fungus to Parasect. For those of you who've watched Ice Age, this is based off Uncle Fungus, and um, he's going to go for another yawn, and Fungus is going to get drowsy, which really stinks. Um, also, the EV spread on the right that you see here isn't actually what the EVs were in my Parasite. My Parasite wasn't max HP, but it should have been, so I decided to put an EV set that makes sense instead of the crap EVs that this one actually had. So on the right isn't what is actually on this thing, and you'll see that by how much damage I actually take. So I'm going to go for a knockoff, which is wonderful, it does huge amounts of damage, and then I'm going to fall asleep, which is fine by me, I didn't mind having this thing go to sleep. It was about time some I let something go to sleep because he was just going to keep yawning until something did. So there he's going to fire off that sludge bomb, and you can see I am not max HP invested at all, and uh, I'm barely going to survive that and um, he's going to take me out of the second one because unfortunately Uncle Fungus is deciding to have a lion today and is not going to wake up anytime soon so um, that is the end of poor Parasect. So I'm going to bring in um, Heracross here knowing that I can freely, now I have a free swap, just uh, scarf myself into Earthquake and everything is going to be jolly. See what I did there? Jolly, jolly nature? No? Okay. So um, I'm going to go for an Earthquake and it's going to do quite a bit of damage to him. Um, he's going to get the lefties, but with the burn, the second Earthquake is almost certainly going to be able to get the KO. And then I'll be um, quids in because I'll have my Moxie boost as well. So there he's going to take that damage and the Earthquake is just going to take it out, which is awesome. And um, we see Quagsar go down and the Moxie go up. So uh, I've got a plus one attack boost now, which is perfect, and the speed of the Scarf and Jolly at the same time is going to make me really, really hard to white pace. Not even Frogadier outspeeds me, so um, I'm easily able to go for another Earthquake. I'm pretty sure he swapped that in to see if I was Scarfed or not, if he hadn't already put it in, whatever, because um, I think that was his only hope of outspeeding me. Um, I feel quite bad because every single one of his Pokemon is now vulnerable to Earthquake since I took out the Gyarados. So uh, he brings in the Azumarill. Surprisingly, he didn't go for Aqua Jet, but then again, if he was Saps, they not huge power. Aqua Jet wouldn't have done anything anyway. Um, maybe he was going to go for a knockoff if he did have it to try and knock off my Scarf, which uh, could have been quite good. But then he's going to bring in Lantern, and that's going to be weak to Earthquake as well, so I'm easily going to be able to take that out at plus four, I think I am. So um, that's one dead Lantern, which is uh, a shame because uh, obviously I have a Lantern and it's one of my favourites. Um, I'm going to get another attack boost and uh, his last Pokemon is Tentacruel and I feel really cruel because this thing is also weak to Earthquake and um, I'm just going to take that out really really easily as well. So uh, Choice Scarf Heracross everyone, it's amazing, you should try it. Um, so that is the end of the battle, really really well played, I'm sorry there's nothing he could really have done. Um, after I got rid of that Gyarados that was kind of what really really helped the most. Uh, that kind of rhymes then. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this battle and I will see you around. Oh, actually, before I leave, um, if you've got any good mono bug type sets, please leave them in the comments below with uh, nicknames and all sorts as well because I'd really, really like to try some out and um, it would be really appreciated. So, bye!